This whole town took a chance on a guy from Hastings, you know, but we're a real force. We're an organisation that feeds thousands each month and stops hundreds of tonnes from going in the bin. But I drew this from my notepad. The year we're in, people shouldn't be struggling for food, especially children. I knew that we all have surplus food in our cupboards. So I wanted to take that surplus food from everyone and I wanted to make sure all of them children ate. Oh, he's a great bloke. He's a great leader. He's a massive inspiration to, to everyone on the team. He'd give anyone his, his last bar of chocolate. When we've done the homeless feeds, he's even given a homeless guy the shirt off his back. Without the team, without my wife supporting me, you can't do anything. So um, I'm grateful for them and that's the biggest gift. Within the last three years onwards, we've, we've hit targets of 30 to 50,000 tonnes from going in the bin. And normally that's around 3,000 plus a month going out. Scary and sad, but grateful that we got it. A Helping Hand project is something I, I drew back in 2015 when I was drawing the charity. And I thought if I ever got a food deal, I would take that food into schools and we would teach children how to make meals out of food that would have been thrown away. And we'd give them some life skills that they could take when they're older and learn how to make something for themselves. I love that project. As soon as I finished it and unleashed it, so many schools wanted it. I hadn't even drawn the policies for it yet and schools were ringing me saying, can we have it for five years? We work closely with a couple of schools. The National Lottery got involved um, and then backed the project, hence how I was able to leave my job and run this project full time. So that's where we are now and it's, it's really working. It is really working. When I'm at home, you know, every two minutes I get a phone call or an email or the charity phone that, that Tony has, it won't, it won't stop. Um, which is it's sad that we need it, but I'm blessed that we've got it. But I get emails to say, you know, you stopped me from committing suicide. Thank you for feeding me and my family. You know, without this, people don't eat. Children, families, hostels, women and children's units. I sleep better at night knowing that people have had their right to eat. <laughs>